evening, everyone. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Nicole Menner. The Mississippi State women's basketball team is the SEC's lone undefeated team in conference play. And thanks to their unblemished week, the Dogs have climbed to number six in this AP, week's AP poll. State flattened Florida and Ole Miss to extend their win streak to nine and appear in the AP poll for the 87th straight week. And even though it was a huge victory over the Rebels, there were some points in the game that it was a close contest. And Coach Vic Shaver isn't dealing with complacency at any point this season. You know, you want to give your opponent credit, and we certainly will do that. But at the same time, it, it just has more to do, in my mind, with us. And it's boring. Third quarter's boring. You're boring me. And it's boring because we've <laughs> lost our intensity. Defensively, we just, we don't, you know, I can, it does, there's a couple of triggers as a coach. You can tell if your team's engaged. We're not engaged. And it's frustrating because I, I want, you know, a coach always wants that top level for 40 minutes. That's what you want. You don't want to lose any uh, continuity through substitution. And you just want them to, man, when you're on the floor, give it everything you got. The drama in the NBA is worse than the drama between girls in high school. And like clockwork, just before the February 7th trade deadline, Anthony Davis dropped the news that he wouldn't be signing a contract extension with the Pelicans, and he wants to be traded. Not exactly the best month to be a New Orleans sports fan. So the latest on all of this, Davis has been fined $50,000 by the NBA after his agent broke the news. The collective bargaining agreement prohibits players or their agents from publicly requesting a trade. Teams like the Lakers, Celtics, 76ers, and the Raptors have been linked to Davis, as well as a handful of other teams. But sources say the Pelicans won't make a deal before the trade deadline unless they're offered an overwhelming package for their franchise star. As of now, Pelicans coach Alvin Gentry says Davis is still a part of his team. You guys, he's on our team. He's under contract. <laughs> You know, I mean, he, 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 we, we approached it like we would any, any other day. You know, he's not able to play because of his hand, but came in and got treatment, and uh, he got a workout in and, as he normally would in this situation. Super Bowl 53 is just a handful of days away. The New England Patriots are preparing to play in their third consecutive Super Bowl, while the Rams are playing in their first since 2002, which is the year that Tom Brady won his first Lombardi trophy. And the respect between the two head coaches is quite apparent. When you watch the film, there's a clear-cut identity in terms of what is the intent of the play call, whether that be running it and attacking front structures or throwing the football to try to manipulate some of their coverage principles or recreate leverage based on the release patterns and some of the man things that you see. So, uh, you know, they've done a great job. They're, they're here for a reason. They've uh, led a league in scoring over that period of time. Um, they're very good on defense. They're very explosive in the kicking game. Um, really, every play is a problem, uh, and he's done a great job of creating that type of um, explosive attacking team that's, that's very hard to play against. Super Bowl 53 gets going Sunday at 5.30. Well, it's no surprise that the Patriots don't have too many fans outside of New England. Maybe a few extra this year for the Saints fans out there. But they do have one fan in Montana, a grizzly bear named Ozzy. The zoo gave him two grape pies to choose from, which is an ongoing tradition. And what did he go with? He went with the Patriots, of course. Ozzy has been spot on for five of his last six picks, with the only loss being Super Bowl 48 when the Seahawks beat the Broncos. He looks like a very hungry bear. <laughs> and he's, he's been pretty spot on in the past few years. So he said it was a grape, a grape? A grape pie. pie. A grape pie. A grape yeah. pie. Mm. Grape pie. Doesn't sound that good, but I'm, no. I mean, Ozzy seems to enjoy it. He, he also did go in for the Rams pie after he finished off the Patriots one. I think Ozzy is just... Hibernation hungry. season must yeah. be over. It's time to, time to eat, fill up the belly again. Yeah, it's like, 